The Terminator, rebooting his blockbuster franchise with all the spectacle you'd expect from Arnold Schwarzenegger. But we're here because the former California governor ignored requests for interviews from CNN. Arnold, Arnold, Arnold. Arnold. And is still appearing to dodge our questions. Will you answer another question from CNN? We're here to ask him about someone else who says they're being ignored by Schwarzenegger. Fred and Kathy Santos. He plays a hero in the movies, uh, uh, yet in real life, he is not a hero. He is a dirty politician. They're the parents of Luis Santos, an average college student whose young life and death got tangled up in the highest levels of California politics. October 4th, 2008, 2 16 a.m. Grainy surveillance video captures several figures running. We have three people stabbed, at least, maybe four. Randomly attacked, randomly attacked. Four friends out on the San Diego State University campus jumped by strangers. You can't make out the actual crime, but three were injured, and one of them, 22-year-old Luis Santos, the left ventricle of his heart sliced in a stab wound, bleeds to death. Stay away, Luis, stay away. Stay away. The attackers fled, speeding out of San Diego to Sacramento, their home. They stopped at this 7-Eleven. You can see one of the men carrying a big gulp cup. They filled it with a dollar thirty worth of gas, using it to torch their bloody clothes. They ditched their knives in the Sacramento River, weapons that were never recovered. It only took police hours to identify four suspects and soon a motive. They were kicked out of parties, so they decided that they were going to stab some people. Two of the suspects fingered Ryan Jett and Esteban Nunez as Luis Santos's killers, the defendants initially pleading not guilty. My concern was that uh, politics might interfere with justice, with the legal system. It was immediate. Once I knew the connection. The connection? Defendant Esteban Nunez's father is Fabian Nunez. At the time of the murder, Nunez was California's most powerful lawmaker. In 2004, when he was sworn in as California's assembly speaker, his son was by his side. Now the politician was standing by his son. Nunez called on his political friends to support his son at his bail hearing. Letters from a union leader, state political leaders, even then mayor of Los Angeles, Antonio Villaraigosa, who wrote to the court that Esteban Nunez is a young man of good and upright character. Was anyone in power speaking for your son? No, nobody in power speaking. We, we're, we're just regular folks. While politics swirled above the murder trial, just days before it began, Nunez and Jet were offered a plea deal by the prosecution. And I pray that the universe will deliver to you a just punishment for your empty and satanic souls. Then at sentencing, 16 years behind bars each, the maximum penalty for manslaughter and assault. What did you think about that? Well, I thought it was better than nothing, uh, which is why we agreed to a plea deal so that there's punishment. What happened? Well, we got cheated out of that. What the Santoses didn't know, Fabian Nunez had forged a close friendship with Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. On his very last night in office, without ever hearing from the Santos family or prosecutors, Schwarzenegger commuted Esteban Nunez's sentence, slashing his 16 years to just seven. He's set to be released early next year. I think it was political cronyism at its worst. Over several weeks, CNN repeatedly requested an interview with Fabian Nunez, which he denied. But Nunez did speak to reporters in 2011. From the beginning, my son was the headliner in this case. He alleged prosecutors were hungry for a conviction because of Esteban's connection to a powerful man. There was a totally different standard, legal standard, applied to my son. In this letter, objecting to the court's sentence, Nunez argued that his son did not harm Mr. Santos, that Jet was a real killer, something witnesses told police. But prosecutors maintained Esteban wielded a knife, his role in the crime equal. He actually stabbed two of the four boys himself. As to Luis, there is a question uh, as to whether or not he was a stabber, but he participated in what caused that stabbing. The only justification Schwarzenegger gave for his decision was in his actual commutation letter, where he cited Esteban's lack of criminal history compared to Jets. 
The Santos family, now suing the state, learned of Schwarzenegger's stunning move from a local reporter. Anything you want to say to Arnold Schwarzenegger? No, it would be a waste of my breath. We decided to go ask for him. After ignoring our request for interviews, we caught up with a former governor, now Terminator, at his premiere. Hi, hi, I'm Hyung Law from CNN. Well, I want to ask you a question about your political roots. Uh, Esteban Nunez, do you, why did you commute his sentence? Well, you know, since we're here today uh, for the movie promotion, uh, we always talk just then about movies. So but I'm happy to talk you. about the Terminator, and I love to talk about you know the uh, Genesis. Is its that is the most the, important. The court. Thank, okay. thank you, everyone. Good, good. The family, the family is trying to go to the Supreme Court, sir. We try again. Arnold, Arnold, Arnold. And again. Arnold, may I ask you a question on behalf of the Santos family? He won't respond. Returning to his Hollywood life, while well, the Santos family returns to theirs, minus the glamour. Why are you continuing to fight? We were not there to protect him, to prevent him from being killed. This is the only thing we can do for him.